Hello, hello. I haven't done a video for a while, but um, I've been working in my poly tunnel, as you can see. I've got a couple of little raised cottager beds, so uh, I didn't do anything in here last year, but this year I plan. I've got lettuce salad here, which seems to be doing reasonably right. I planted them a few days ago. So they're doing okay. And I've still got another six to plant there, which I will put in later. Um, but I'm, I've parted up this one with my strawberries um, because I had another bed, which is actually, you can't see, it's behind, behind the camera view. But I've moved them all out of there because I want to create another raised bed. They were just directly in the ground. But this is uh, all organic material in here that's been rotted down for quite a few years. But I'm just going to add a little bit of potash today because strawberries like the potash. They like potassium, so we'll sprinkle a bit of ash from the fire around the strawberries. And that'll give them a little bit of a tonic. Like everything I do, I try and think about reusing, recycling, upcycling. So all the wood that comes off of my my place gets burnt on my fires. But the byproduct of that is ash and it never goes to bad use because I I use it around my plants. And also the chickens liked it as a dust bath as well. So that was a discovery a few years ago. Um, I think the ash might have something to do with it keeps the mites off their skin, which is good. But yeah, this will give these strawberries a tonic. And, uh, I rebuilt the irrigation system in here. That was a little project that I was doing because it was completely wrecked from neglect, really. I didn't do anything in here, so but now it's all up and running again. And I'm, it pumps in about um, a litre. I have it on a drip feed, and it's a litre for a uh, half hour of dripping. So that's plenty for these litre. Every day, they're getting just about enough. The soil is, is wet, so it must be enough. Yep. So, another thing you can do with your ash from your fire. You don't have to throw it away. Or think what am I going to do with that? You can put it on your strawberries. There is another little thing. I've got a little bit of a possibly a little bit of an ant problem here as well. So ants don't like sulfur. So when I clean my chimney out, I'm going to keep all the the dust from my chimney. And then put it around here as well because because the ants used I've I've spied a few of them having a little run along the edge here. So I'll sprinkle the uh, the dust from the the soot from the fire the chimney around, and um, hopefully that sulphur will solve the problem with the uh, with the ants. But yeah. It's good, it's all good. Stay tuned for the next exciting installment. Rosemary's looking good in here. It's chilly today, it's very, very chilly. It's, it's sunny-ish, but it's chilly. It's only about eight, nine degrees, it's still chilly. But it's okay in here.